Hey everybody, my name is Tina. Welcome to already 11th day of our 20 day challenge, awesome web challenge. I'm so proud of you that you already made it here. We are halfway through, which is incredible. And today we will be looking more into where you should put the most important content on your web page so your visitors would read it actually. Yesterday we talked about this one study where it was said that your visitors are reading approximately between like 20 to 25 percent of the text on your web page. This is a crucial point because you need to attract them to the most important part of it, right? If they are reading, reading just these 20 percent. So I will show you today where you should put the text, how you should do it, and thanks to that the readers will actually read it. They will stay longer on your web page and buy your products, send your an, uh, inquiry, and you will get some new leads, which is the reason why we are doing it, right? So keep watching. Let's do it. Where you should have the most important content? Well, from the previous videos, we already know that it should be somewhere on the top of the page, right? You know, or you know. Maybe you can check it on your scroll maps, which you installed a few days ago. There will be already some data in there. Uh, you can see there how much people are actually scrolling down or not. And this also correlates with the content. If you want your visitors see the content, the most important one, you should put it on the top. So the, basically, the more important content, the more on the top it should be. In the previous videos, we also talked about the USB, Unix as per position. So just put it on the first screen, just put it in there so your visitors can see it directly when they open your web page. Also, the same thing is with your mobile device. If you imagine that you have your phone on your hand and you open your web page, the first thing they should see, the visitors, should be the most important content you have. For example, your Unix sales proposition once again. Now, if we are talking about the desktop or the notebook, and you have more elements in there, you have there some pictures, some video, or whatever, and some text, it's better to consider to have the text on the left part of the, of the page, or in the middle. Why? Because uh, users, or generally humans, are used to read from the left to the right and they are twitching. So the highest chance what they will see first is on the left side or in the middle. If you put it on the right bottom part, there is much, much lower chance that they will actually read it. This is also the reason why, for instance, in eShops, if you look on some detail of some product, the picture and the product itself, the huge picture would be on the left side. And then some details and elements and the varieties, attributes you can buy would be on the right side. Why? Because again, the picture is the one which is selling you the product itself. So that's the reason why you have the picture on the left side. So it will draw your attention to it. Another thing is also about the size because the size of the text in here also matters. You could sign there that the biggest text in the middle draw your attention directly at first. I would put my hand into the fire that you read this text as first, as it was said on the picture. If you didn't write me down below the comments because I'm kind of looking forward if there are some humans who works differently than most of our brains does. Um, so anyway, the biggest text in the middle, that's something which will draw your attention at first. Again, if we go to the web page, the biggest text in the middle will definitely draw your attention at first. So this is also some very nice rule you can use 
for the most important content on your web page. But these big, huge texts are also used for the headlines. Why? Because it's, it draws your attention to it. Uh, but there's also another fact going on with it. You need to put there some interesting facts, some numbers, some, something very catchy so the people will actually continue reading. It's always quite pity if you have some interesting data and something very, very interesting in the article, but it's not in the headline. So the headline is not catchy, so people are not actually continuing reading the whole article. So it's not just about the size, but it's also about what is written in there, of course. When I was little, I used to dance. And we were building this choreography, and our teacher always told us that the first and last moments always matters the most. Why? Because this is the first and last impression the judges will get out of the choreography. So this had to be like on the top scale for us. And something similar is actually going on also with the web page. Your user or visitors will always remember the first and last impression on your web page. So make sure that first impression when the user will come to your web page will be the top and the last one is the same. Where you can also use it is, for, for instance, in the menu. The first, uh, first fields of the menu should be the most important, and the last field of the menu should be also the most important. So these were some general ideas. I hope you found them quite useful. Anyway, it's always better to work with the data and with your web page. So go ahead, have a look on the heat maps, which I believe uh, you have on your web page right now. <laughs> Uh, from the previous videos and check in there how the users are behaving, where they are looking, where are the biggest red spots on the heat maps, if they are scrolling or not. So in, thanks to that you can actually find very easily uh, where you should have the most important content on your web page. Now we've got the information. Uh, write me below in the comment how it went. If you have some, I don't know, weird stuff on your web page, which you can see on the, on the heat maps, keen on about these things. Um, if you like the video, give a thumb up, subscribe if you didn't, and I will be looking forward to see you tomorrow or in the 12th video. So have a nice day.